It starts with Paul, obviously. Can you talk about him not only today, but in two starts he's yet to allow a run in this ballpark? Well, Paul's pitched very well for us from his, you know, his first start of the season until now. Obviously, he's had some good success here. Today, it was, all his pitches were working. He's throwing strikes, 91 pitches, you know, three over the, the minimum that he faced. Uh, he hit three balls hard for outs uh, and a double and then two infield hits. He stayed away from the barrel, just kept the ball down, moved it around. It so efficient. And he pitched with so much confidence out there today. Excellent out. Did you have to revive him in the dugout after you got so many runs? No, it was probably a, you know, a welcome relief for him um, and probably kind of kicked in some adrenaline for him that, okay, I got something to work with. I just need to take over and get, in, and get these outs. And uh, that's what he did. So it's been the first time all year we've really gotten on top for him. Other than the first game here, I think we took him out with a lead. In a couple games, we got away from the bullpen. But, uh, Today, everybody threw something in offensively. We showed up very, very well, but Paul was a story for me today. You talked yesterday about this offense is going to hit. Does this just reinforce what you were saying and believing yesterday? Well, I mean, you get pitches to hit at this level, and you got to hit them. Because some days, you know, you don't get too many pitches to hit. Today, some mistakes were made over the plate. We had good aggressive swings. You know, we've been one-sided a lot on offense. That's what I just mean, guys pulling the ball. You know, just swinging too hard. We got some good offensive counts today. We took good swings. We didn't try and uh, you know do too much. We just put the barrel in the ball. Um, you know some big swings with the home runs, obviously. But we also got some good looks. You know I think we saw over 170 pitches at the, at the plate today. So the confidence should be building up there. We'll see how it plays out tomorrow. Clint, uh, last year you guys, this team didn't win its 15th road game until the middle of September. Now you win it today at the end of uh, May, basically. Was there an emphasis on that going into spring training, or is it just happenstance that this team is just better? No, the the team's the team is, is is better, but I mean it starts with the pitching. But yeah, we talked about our, our road record last year, and we've actually tried uh, we've gone out of our way to reconstruct some things, some routines on the road to just make some things different. Um, Seventeen wins, you know, and eighty-one games on the road. That's I've never heard of anything like that. You know, and I've had some clubs that have struggled dramatically on the road. So I think one thing the guys did do this year coming, they took it personal. You know, this game, you carry some pride, some professional pride every day you go out there, and you, you top off a 105 loss season on top of uh, the road record. So these guys had, a, had needed to have an edge coming into the season, and so far, you know, they've gone about their business very, very professionally. Paul's handled the, the, the lack of run sports so well this season, and he kind of says for the starting pitchers, there's a competition between them. You know, they, and you, it was something you actually talked about in spring training, about going out there and, you know, upping the next guy. I don't know, Carson's, I don't know, is going to have a difficulty trying to up this game, but I mean, just impressive overall. Well, I, I think their mindset is that, that they understand the responsibility probably better than ever before. You know, the accountability, what they bring to the table. Uh, when you've been on team and your starting pitching doesn't get you past the fifth inning and, and you're having to eat up a ton of innings out of the bullpen, the game's hard to play. And when your starting pitchers can get deep and they hand the baton to the next guy, now you know it's Jeff's job to go get us, try to get us deep in the game. Uh, deeper in the game, we've got a fully rusted bullpen. It just makes everything work more smoothly. Their confidence is in a very good place, the starting rotation. And they're confident also when they do hand the ball off, our bullpen has been very effective. So from that standpoint, off the mound, you know, we have grown. We have grown uh, a great deal in the first, uh, you know, closing in on two months of the season. What have you learned from Mahalem just through his ability to not let the run support get to him for two months? Because I would imagine some pitchers that might wear on you mentally. Well, I do think it goes back to some of the conversations Paul and I had over the winter. You know, Paul really uh, honestly self-evaluated on what he had not done well, what he needed to do well, what his game plan was going to be coming in. It was very unselfish. He was going to demand a lot of himself. He was going to make some adjustments. He's done all the things, uh, you know, the self-evaluation, the checklist he's put together. He's knocked everyone off his, off his to-do list so far. And I think it speaks to some of his experience. He wants to win. And, you know, the, the thing that sometimes we lose sight of is, you know, he, every player has a contract. He's got a contract that he's worked hard for, so he's being compensated. Now he wants to win. All he can control is his job off the mound, and he has really embraced that. You know, he can't control run support. He, he, he can't control a lot of other things that are going on, but we can control the way he pitches, and that's what he's just locked down on. And regardless of the run support, he has been... Uh, and not just efficient, but, but his confidence has not wavered. 
he's had some games when his best stuff hasn't shown up, that he's still gone out there and competed and pitched very, very effectively. I just think this is a big step forward in his maturation as, as a major league pitcher. But anybody in this game can be a good guy when things are going well. And, you know, you really get to check, check a guy's gut when things aren't going well, how he responds. I think that is sending the biggest statement out in that clubhouse right now to everybody else. You're watching this guy deal with what he's dealing with. It's, it's all pro. It's all pro across the board. How important or how encouraging is it to go out and smack him around today and win a game like that? And then in, co in comparison to yesterday where you take take what they give you in stakes, wait, wait them out, things like that, to be able to win games both ways. Well, I, I think our guys, you know, they've been looking forward to having a game like this for a while. This is our first double-digit game, I think, run game of the season. And for everybody to throw something in, every starter got a hit. You know, we drove runs in from the, you know, the second spot all the way down uh, to the eighth spot. You know, a big swing of the bat from Ron, stretch things out, or the first swing of the bat from Pierce to drive in two. Um, Nothing, as I've said it before, but nothing's going to breed confidence like some success. And the success that they had today, you know, that's something you can hold on to a little bit and know that they're capable of doing some things, some things we haven't done with much consistency so far. Did Pierce get hurt going to second on that single? Or he, that tweak, he tweaked his, uh, that calf issue that he's had. He tweaked it again. So we'll, uh, we'll see how he's feeling tomorrow. Thanks, Wayne. Thank you. You're welcome.